what did you see tonight? Uh, obviously, not the result, but there were some great chances there, especially in the second half. Yeah, second half we're a little bit better. You know, second, uh, first half we we had a really tough time stopping their front four. You know, they had a lot of movement. We thought we were prepared for that. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, uh, great players make great plays, and and they did. You know, they were they were a handful uh, those guys up front, and and we just didn't do enough to stop them. Take us through that triple substitution uh, in the second half. What were you looking specifically to change? Well, we were looking to change as much as we could, really, because. You know, we changed formations. We went from a 3-5-2 to a 4-3-3, um, trying to get Prince on the right side where he's most dangerous. Um, you know, we, we haven't had a left winger, and this is why we've been playing sort of a 3-5-2 because we don't really have anybody on the left side. But second half, we went, uh, we put Prince on that side. I think he was a lot more dangerous. We brought Danny at the 10th spot. Um, you know, uh, Jaciel really didn't get involved in the, in, the, in the play too much in the first half. Uh, and I think Danny did a pretty good job second half. Uh, it was too bad we had to take, uh, you know, De Bruno off the field because he did such a nice job in the first half. What did you see out of Duren, uh, 17 years old, pro debut? You know, like he was fit right in? Yeah, I mean, really happy for him. You know, uh, he did a great job. Um, I, I honestly couldn't have asked more from him. Uh, and I told him at halftime, I said, you know, I wish, wish I would have known you could, you know, you, you, you would do this well. Um, but unfortunately, we have to wait, you know, change the system. And because of the system, I got to take you off. And I didn't want to put him at left back to only defend because I think I'd put him at a disadvantage if I did that. Um, but he did a great job. Really happy for him and, uh, you know, really happy with all the work he's done to get here. Yeah, is that the type of thing that uh, he said he found out today that he'd be starting, but he earns that opportunity, right, the way you see him in training? Or how does it kind of work when an academy player gets to the starting lineup like that? Yeah, well, I mean, he found out maybe 100% that he was starting today, but he's been on the starting team for the last three days. So he he's known, okay. um, probably kept it away from everybody else. But, you know, I'm, it's a happy moment. Unfortunately, we couldn't do it in a day when we could win, but, but this is a big moment for him. Last question. Andre was saying that you know he really feels like it, you guys are so close uh, and a little bit unlucky at times, and that the results are going to start coming in bunches. Is, it, is that kind of how you view it, especially after these 90 minutes as well? Uh, not as much today. Uh, you know, I felt like uh, up until today's game, we we could have won any of the games we played. We certainly had chances to win any game. Today we made it a game in the second half. We could have tied it a bunch of times, but I think at the end of the day, they were a better team today. Yeah sort of going back to the to last stretch of games, um, you'd mentioned after the win in Oakland that you had felt the team needed to be a little bit more mature in that second half. Although you weren't holding a lead in that first half, did you feel that that may have been the case more so than in other games today? Yeah, I mean, we fell behind, you know, and I think we hadn't been behind in a game, I, I believe, since our first game of the season. And, uh, you know, when you fall behind, you take more chances, and we did that, and we attacked a lot better in the second half. Um, but we have to do that when we're winning too.